What's up, everybody? So today, you guys are in for a treat because I'm doing a real-time, slow-motion video, non-time-lapse. So, um, I'm not going to put out too many of these, but let's get rolling. So, these are the things I'm using today. I've got, I've got the metallic copper extreme sheen, extreme sheen bronze. I've got the Deco Art Satin uh, Coffee Bean, and I added a little bit of this Deco Art Metallics um, Gold into the coffee bean, just a, a tiny bit, like maybe, maybe like seven or eight drops. I've got this color ship by Folk Art. It's the um, Black Frost, or Black Flash. Sorry. I've got this Deco Art Americana Satin Brown Sugar. I also added a little bit of the Ameri this gold here, this gold into the brown sugar. I've got this uh, Folk Art Color Shift Orange, Orange Flash. I've got uh, more brown sugar. Uh, and I've got, let's see here. I've got some of this Aqua Flash by Folk Art. I've got some Deco Art lipstick. I also added a little bit of the gold into the red lipstick as well. I've got Amer Americana Deco Art Satin White Birch. Those are all the colors I'm using in this pour, except for I'm also using for my base and for my blowover, I'm using um, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. So the flow acrylic, I've mixed that about one part flow troll to one part paint. Maybe a little bit more flow troll than that. And um, a little water to thin it down. So it's got a, a consistency that's a little bit thicker than my other paints. That's okay. My, uh, my other paints are pretty watery. I'll give you a close up here. So when you drizzle it off the stick, it doesn't leave a mound really, but it doesn't leave a dip either. You want it to just kind of melt back into the rest of it. It's pretty thin. Um, so all of, all of these bottle paints, I mixed one part flow trial to one part paint, thinned it down with water until it looks like this. So let's get this out of the way. I, um, I apologize that my work area in my studio does not look as pristine and beautiful and user friendly as many of you people on YouTube who do these wonderful videos. Your studios are just like immaculate and clean and your areas are perfect and I don't know how you guys do it because this is one of those things that the messier the better. So. We're gonna get started. Um, gonna get this eliminate here. It's um, a little bit warm here in Austin, Texas. Um, August 31st, I believe mean, the date is. All right, so let's get rolling. So my paints are already mixed. I've got this uh, base coat here. I think I think I want it a little bit thinner than what what it is. Um, I want it to be pretty thin. I want the cover. Maybe a little bit more water. Alright, so let's go ahead and get our canvas covered. These are um, icing spreaders used in bakeries to spread icing on those lovely cakes. 
Um, it works quite well for pain, um, in my opinion. There are many things you can use to spread the paint out with. Um, one is a paintbrush. Um, but this just seems to like really get a smooth, smooth enough anyway, a layer to work with. And it's pretty user friendly. It um, works well. And so I like it. I like to go ahead and get my sides covered, you know, pretty well anyway. I don't get too overzealous on coverage because most likely they're going to touch ups after the fact, you know, a little bit of post production action there on the sides. But I like to go ahead and get them covered for the most part. Um, that's just the way I like to do it. Um, I think I've seen that Canela actually paints her sides first before she does. The core. And if you guys haven't seen Canela Sirocco, please check her out. She's freaking amazing. Um, I haven't watched any of her videos in, in a little while, and I need to get back on it and do some more learning because I I, I learned a lot from Canela. She's, she's pretty awesome. Um, and uh, Tammy Anderson as well. Tammy Anderson is she's just a badass, you know. She. Um, I, she, she cracks me up. Tammy Anderson cracks me up, for sure. Um, her, her voice is very cute, and, um, and she does some amazing pours. So if you guys haven't heard of Tammy Anderson or checked out her channel, please do. I also forgot, I was going to mix up a little bit of this yellow. This is um, Artist Loft Brilliant Yellow. I'm going to mix it one part paint, two parts Floetrol, and thin it down with water. So there's my paint, and I'm going to put some Floetrol in it. The reason my Floetrol is in this cup here is because, I don't know if it's the heat or what exactly it is uh, here in this part of the world, but Floetrol can become very clumpy, and so I, I have to use like a sink strainer over here to strain my Floetrol. I keep it in a little bucket of water so that it's kind of clean, it just keeps, stays clean all the time. Um, so I strained my Floetrol from this bottle into this cup so that all the clumps and the lumps and the bullshit would get weeded out. I'm sorry, can I cuss on this station, on this TV? Um, I've got a little bit of a foul mouth, but I've got a good heart you come to learn that about me. And I'm a little bit silly. So, by the way, my name's Jesse. I appreciate you guys joining in and coming and watching this today because I don't do many videos like this. I prefer time lapse. I don't like to talk and, and explain what I'm doing. And, you know, I don't, I don't like to do all that. I just like to do it and then, uh, then I'm spent, you know? air going on here. It's hot. Hotter than Georgia asphalt. Well, it's going to get thinner. There we go. So, I think I might also add a little touch of this gold to that yellow I just mixed up. Because I think that would look pretty awesome. I'm not going to put much. Let me show you how much I'm putting. See that little blob that fell in? That I wipe that spoon off on it right there. Let me show you guys. That is about how much of the gold I put in each of the colors that I added it to. You know, just mix it in. I see that tarnished the yellow a little bit, kind of made it a little bit of a different yellow, but that's okay. Um, we don't want our yellow to look the same as everybody else's anyway, right? I gotta keep them guessing. So, see it still has a nice consistency like I need it to get to have. And now it's got a little bit of a darker yellow, but it's got some sheen to it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I love the sheen. And I love the color shifts. And I love some fried shrimp. All right, so we're gonna get going here. Um, 
got everything I need, but let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna get some air bubbles out of this face coat right quick. Get the good old Mr. Torch. I see a lot of people on YouTube and they use like these little hand torches and whatnot. Um, man, I don't know about y'all, but those those things, they just break so easily or they quit working so easily that it's really just more cost effective for me anyway to just buy these big cans of propane and buy the little tip that goes on the can that you know helps get it out of the can and makes a fire with it and those things work quite well they get plenty of flame plenty of heat and they last forever so uh, let's see what i'm going to start with here i think i'm going to start with i think i'm going to start with some copper i'm going to put down a little bit of copper Yeah, the cup is too thick. There we are. Uh, by the way, the water that I thin these down with is 100% reverse osmosis Australian whale water. No, actually, it's just plain tap water. All right, there we go. Now we're done. Let's go next with some, um, this is the brown sugar with a little bit of the gold in it. Alright, this fan's got to go. And it's hot as hell in here, but... Fans just blowing the drips right back on the painting, and I'm not happy with it. All right, let's get back to it. I think next I'm going to go with. Uh, let's go with a little bit of the brown sugar. What is this? I got two brown sugars. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with a little bit of this white birch. Maybe. Let's see how that works. I hope this doesn't turn out to look like diarrhea splattered on the uh, canvas because you know I'm, I'm, I'm using some browns and some very earthy tones and, and that can be dangerous sometimes, you know. It can look like uh, somebody sharded on the canvas and we don't want that. I'm going to go with a little orange splash here. Let's get that going around through there. Yeah, buddy. I think this is going to really look sweet. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and do some, do some red. Red mixed with the gold. A little tiny scrap of that. So let's next go with maybe some lello. Maybe some. Is this, this is the coffee, coffee bean? Or is this bronze? No, we need the bronze. This is some more. I think this is a coffee bean right here with the gold in it. I'm going to try to zigzag that maybe. Now the reason I did that with that color is because that's going to put a little bit more of it out on the canvas than if I were to just do another straight stripe. So I'm hoping that that color will kind of come out in the painting. So let's do, let's go with a little bit of this. This is the black flash. Let's put this black flash on the bottom of this. That. Look in this little crook. And just do the same thing, just follow the bottom edge like that. 
There we are. Let's see now. Let's get some. Uh, let's do some of this aqua flash. Let's do it maybe on the top side. Now we're going to do a little bit of bronze. I think it's Australian bronze. Let's do it right through the middle. Like that. And like this. There we go. Here we are. Next, we got to put a little bit of a lello. I'm going to do the lello right down the middle as well. Right there. Like so. I'm going to put a little bit more of this white birch right on the yellow. Actually, I'm just going to kind of zigzag it. Okay, so now, let's thin, uh, this is my uh, white that I have left over from the base. I'm going to thin it down a little bit more with some water. Shit, I probably need to uh, mix some more of that. I used a lot on that base. A bit more, and we're gonna need a little more filter on that. There we go. Mix that up. That's another thing I forgot to say earlier. Whenever um, I'm, I use water and floatrol in my paints, I mix the floatrol in completely, and then add the water and mix it in. Um, I haven't done it any other way, so I don't know if it makes a huge difference. But I would suggest doing it that way. Floatrol's all mixed up. Add some water. Get it a little bit thin. Maybe a tiny bit thinner. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to take some of this three in one home type silicone oil. I'm going to put about five drops in this white. One, two, three, four, five. Close it back up, and I'm going to give it a you know a little bit of a stir. I'm not going to whip it, but I'm just going to mix those up pretty good, and then I'm going to take take this white, and I'm going to pour it. I'm going to pour it on this on this side of the pattern. I'm just going to go along the edge like that. Same thing up here. I'm going to go on the underside like that. Now comes the trusty blowjob dryer. I'm gonna push the uh, the white. Oh, actually, I uh, almost forgot. I do need to go ahead and get these air bubbles out of this mess because they've got some. There we go. Yeah, that's better. What the hell was I thinking? All right, moving on. I used a low setting cold and blow it over. Now I'm going to come back to the other side and I'm going to
typically what I like to do in this situation is I like to hold the phone. What I have here is like a little piece of rubber hose, and it's um, I use it to maneuver where I want to, you know, sort of uh, pinpoint certain areas that I want to blow out a little bit more. Wow, I really like this right here. These this black shift and the way it is fading, that looks really cool. This is really pretty, guys. I'm really happy with it. Let me take a little bit of this torch. Let's cook the shit out of it. I know I'm not your uh, your standard orthodox um, hardcore YouTube video making kind of person. I'm a little bit rough around the edges, but. That's why you love me. Oh, another person that I'd like to plug, to go check out if you have not, is um, Rinsky Dona. Uh, I believe that's spelled R-I-N-S-K-E-T-O-U-N-A. 
Rinsky Dona. She is, I believe she is the inventor or the first person to, to do this technique of uh, blowing out with the blow dryer. And since she is Dutch, or I, maybe I'm mistaken, but I think that since she's Dutch, that's where it gets the name, the Dutch Pour, because she's so Dutch. Oh yeah, cook up baby, come on, cook them up, cook them up. Yeah, work with me here, sell up, give me some sales. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we got some big sales coming up now, this is going to look awesome guys. Yeah, I love this already. Yeah, yeah baby, open up. Give me those sales. Oh, this one right here is amazing. It's so beautiful. And the colors are just gorgeous. I, I really am happy with the color choices on this. Alright, that's probably about as cooked as we can get it without setting it on fire. So, I'm going to shut this off. Right. Now. So I'll bring you guys in and see some closer look. That's it. I, I, isn't that what they say? They say I want to bring y'all in for a closer close up. So let's uh, take it out from this thing here. Let me show you uh, what we're dealing with here. You see, there's some really cool stuff going on. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with how this turned out. I think it's beautiful. Um, I don't always feel that way about my paintings, obviously, because, you know, this style of painting, it really is difficult to control what the outcome is a lot of times. Um, sometimes you will use the exact same paint, the exact same style of pour, and the exact same mixtures so that you can get as close to the same outcome as possible. This is the one I like right here. I think that's just, that's so beautiful. And I like this area too. Um, I, I, I really like it. I think it's um, um, a success and hopefully it'll sell. Um, I'm gonna smooth out some of these white areas where it's a little, whatever, wavy gravy. And uh, we'll see what happens. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell.